Hi, this video is a part of machine learning from scratch playlist. In this playlist, I explain different machine learning algorithms implemented from scratch using Python. You can download the relevant Python files from the link given in the description of each video. Note that I do not code along, rather I make use of pen for explaining the tricky parts of code so that you people can read the notebooks and Python files and understand them yourself. And of course, re-implement them yourself. I'm expecting my audience to be well versed with machine learning, general understanding, and they just need little hints for implementation of algorithms from scratch. In this video, I'll explain collaborative filtering, which is also known as user-user filtering. As hinted by its alternate name, this technique uses other users to recommend items to the input user. It attempts to find users that have similar preferences and opinions as the inputs and then recommends items that they have liked to the input. So basically, it is, it is using the knowledge of other user base. User base. So there are several methods of finding that similarity between the users, even some making use of machine learning algorithms, uh, but the one I'll be making use uh, of will, is, is known as Pearson correlation function. Let's jump, in, jump to the whiteboard to understand this idea in a better way and then notebook to code it in Python. So if you look at it, broadly we have two classes of filtering, collaborative filtering and content-based filtering. So broadly in recommendation systems, these two filtering techniques are usually used. So we will today talk about collaborative filtering, which is also called user user filtering. In the next video, I'll talk about content based filtering. So let's focus on this user user filtering. So there are basically six to seven steps involved in this collaborative filtering, and they are really easy once you understand the intuition. Let's start by giving, giving an example. We will be given an input with table of user ID, the movie IDs that user has watched and the rating for each of the movie. So suppose the user ID is A and the movie IDs are 20, 22, 48 and for rating for each of it is 2.2, 4.4 and 4.8. So this will be kind of an input. Then we want to find out which movie user ID will choose. So the first step is that we will find users. We will find users who has already watched some or all of the movies that user input has watched. So what do I mean by that? If you look at it, so in our database suppose there are 1000 users with different names okay then out of those 1000 users we will extract all of those users uh, who has already watched either movie 22 or 20 20 or 22 or 48 any one of them or all of them so out of those 1000 users suppose there are 20 users who has watched one or uh, more than uh, one of the movie IDs in 2022-48. So once extracted, we will also extract the rating for each of the user that they have given to these movies 2022-48. So now what we have is uh, what we have is ratings for 20 different users. Then what we will do is we will find out that how much how much similar this user A is to these 20 users which of these 20 users are most similar to this user a so one of the ways to look at the ratings of user a and these 20 users if they have given kind of similar rating to the movies that they both have commonly watched it means they are similar users uh, they are, there is a more similarity so we will make use of these rating vectors so in a way we will make use of this rating vector and these 20 20 rating vectors and we will find out 20 values representing 20 values which will represent kind of a similarity between this a and those 20 uh, different users this similarity can be calculated using machine learning models but we are using pearson correlation because pearson correlation is kind of invariant to scaling so till now we have come to this point where we are calculating this pearson correlation so we extract rating for similar movies watched. We calculate a sim similarity score. Once we calculate it, then we find top X users. So suppose based on these 20 values, we extract top 10 users. So these are the top 10 users which are similar to this input user A. And for each of the top 10 user, we have what we call a correlation with A which represents how much these 10 users are similar to A. Then if we want to recommend a movie to a user ID A, then we should recommend it in the movies which these 10, 10 users has watched. So then we will extract for each of these users, for each of these user, I'll extract movie ID that they have watched other than these 20, 22, 48. So suppose we have a user uh, E, so user E might have watched 96, 98, 124, etc, etc. 
Now, this user E, this similar user E has also given rating to each of these movies. This 96 will be having a rating of 4.3, this 98 will be having a rating of 2.2, etc, etc. And at the same time, we also have a correlation for this user ID, user ID E. This correlation will be with the input user. So suppose for user E, we have the correlation of 0 0.86. So this will also be stored. Now, once done for this user ID E, once we extract all the movie information that user E has watched, then we extract the information for the next user, which is F, suppose F. And this will go on for uh, G and all and all. Then what we will do is, then we will find out this role of nine, whether we have to we have to suggest the movie id 96 or not so what we will do is we will look at the rating of the rating of user id e that it has given to the uh, movie number 96 and also uh, the correlation of the input user with the user id e so we will multiply this 0 0.86 with the 4.3 so correlation will be multiplied with the ratings so this is kind of weighted rating so we get weighted rating once we get weighted rating for each of the user id uh, for each of the movie id for user id e then we also calculate it for movie uh, for f for all of the uh, uh, users for all of the 10 similar users now we have a big matrix but what happens if if this user id f has also watched 96 so we will also be having this weighted rating for uh, this 96 uh, for this user id f so this movie ID 96 has multiple ratings. One is coming from user ID E, another one is coming from user ID F. So what we'll do is at the end, we will sum the common movies. What will we sum? We will sum these correlations and we will also sum these weighted ratings. So these are correlations and these are weighted ratings. So for common movies, we will sum these correlations. Suppose the correlation for F is 0.9. So the final correlation will be 0 0.9 plus 0 0.86 for this movie number 96. For movie number 96, the correlation will be 1.76. And the weighted rating will be also added together. Once we do that, then finally, for each of the movie, for each of the unique movie, we have two things. One is weighted rating and one is correlation. Then we divide this weighted rating by the correlation and we sort, sort the values and we extract the top movies. To recommend this is as simple as it is i think so this whole process is really simple if you look at it like closely so we extract these top users once we have extracted we find out the weighted rating which is basically multiplying the correlation with the rating of, of, of ratings and then we finally add up the correlation and weighted rating for each of the movie watched by more than one top x user so that we get the common uh, the unique value for each of the movie and then for each movie we just uh, do this calculation weighted rating divided by correlation this is kind of to uh, scale it to normalize it and then we sort it out uh, and then we recommend the top movies let me jump to the notebook and explain the concept there Okay, so in this video, I'll be talking about collaborative filtering and in the next video, I'll be talking about content based filtering. As I've already explained the whole process of collaborative filtering, let me introduce you to the data set. So we import the NumPy and Pandas. Then we have two data frames uh, in which uh, one uh, storing the movie IDs and uh, the titles and genres and the next will be storing uh, the rating IDs. So we pre-processes the pre-process the movie ID, movie data frame where we extract this this information of uh, year from the movie titles and we separate it out and, and we make another column for that. So this is where we are doing that step and we have just extracted the uh, column. Uh, and separated out uh, uh, from the title column. Uh, we created this new column of year and that was that is actually separated out from this title column. Next, what we will do is we look at the rating data frame which contains this timestamp and we do not need this timestamp, so we drop it out. Now let's begin creating our collaborative filtering recommendation system. We have this user ID which contains the information of uh, you, the information of movie and the relevant rating that it has given to the movie. And now given the title of the movie, we'll ex we will find out the ID of the movie so we find out the id of the movie so for the user input we have now movie id the title and the rating now based on these, this movie id what we will do is we'll extract the users who has also watched uh, kind of similar movies so all of the this, this contains this user subset contains all of the users who has watched this movie is the same kind of movies uh, and uh, also uh, the ratings that uh, these users has given to these movies to the same kind of movies then what we will do is uh, this group by operation is actually extracting out a single user uh, 
single user uh, which contains uh, which which contains all the information uh, for that specific user so consider we are getting the group uh, having id 1130 what does that mean so we are extracting this the information of user id 1130 because we are grouping by this data frame this above user subset data frame by the user id so once we get the group 1130 it's it simply means that get me all the rows get me all the rows of this data frame where the user id is 1130 this is what we are seeing here so for user id 1130 what we are seeing is that user this user has watched movie number 1 2 296 1274 and 1968 so it seems like that the input user has also watched these movies but we will also look at the ratings our main focus will be looking at the rating of this user 1130 and the input user if they have the same rating then it means they are similar so the correlation will be higher the similarity score will be higher otherwise the similarity score will be lower but nevertheless uh, they feel like similar because they have watched similar movies uh, but uh, rating will make definitely a difference uh, this will this rating is a basic important part where we are finding out the similarity so this is very important now once we do it Okay, so for this user ID 110, the movie ID is 296, and 296 has a rating of 4.0. And for input movies, the 296 ID has a rating of 5.0. So it means they are pretty close. Uh, of course, they are they they both have not watched the common movies. They have watched only the single common movie, but still the ratings are closed. So in this way, uh, we will create a loop in which from the subset group we will extract the name and the group and for each of the name and the group what we will do is uh, we will uh, find out we will extract this rating for each of the group and we will also extract this rating for the input um, input user uh, and then using these both rating vectors we will find out the similarity if we want to hard code it this is the formula for Pearson correlation but if you want to use a scipy function uh, of Pearson this is this is the formula for that uh, but uh, we can calculate this Pearson correlation once we calculate this Pearson correlation then based on this Pearson correlation what we will do is uh, we will uh, sort the sort them and find out the top users so consider this data frame having user ID 75 and it's uh, and it's associated similarity with the input user then based on that we extract the top users top X users that we will be using uh, for extracting the other movies uh, so then using those selected users what we will find out is we will extract uh, other movies that they have watched and we will also extract the ratings uh, then once we have extracted the rating and the other movies uh, we have also the information of similarity index we will multiply the similarity index with the rating so we will find out this weighted rating uh, so once we have this weighted rating we will store it in the data frame uh, once we have stored it in the data frame then what we will do is uh, we will basically uh, sum this weighted rating and similarity index so that we get a single value for each of the movie id once we have this single value for each of the movie id then we do this simple operation of some weighted average divided by some similarity index and we find out these values every weighted average recommendation scores once have we have that recommendation score then we sort this this score and we find out the top x movies uh, based on this sorted values and this is how we do it uh, so we i've also explained these advantages and disadvantages of collaborative filtering and uh, here uh, i have also explained content-based filtering which i'll be explaining in the next uh, video